Hi everyone. Uh, my girlfriend's brother asked me to make a water sensor that uh, that once water got uh, beyond a certain point in the tank, uh, an alarm went off and it couldn't be disarmed until you pressed a button. So it can't be uh, re-triggered. Once it's triggered once, you have to literally come and uh, turn it off. Now it's such a low power circuit when it's in idle mode that I can use a, a battery once the alarm goes off. It's pretty annoying. So uh, it's also got a power on reset circuit on it so let me just plug it in it's fairly simple short video I just wanted to show you what it does so the power on reset allows that it to start off in the state I want there's the sensor so you can see two prods or probes rather so I'll just use my uh, trusty screwdriver to uh, act as a uh, water See, I can't re-trigger it. Re-trigger it does nothing. I need to literally press the disarm button. Then it goes back in idle mode. So this was kind of fun. Uh, it's not very complicated, but uh, you know, whenever I build something, I I figure I might as well show it with the the YouTube world. Um, and I just wanted to say I've got a lot of really interesting sensors, integrated circuits, and. Uh, Hobby wares for those who are interested in taking a look on www.electroniclessons.com. For those of you who subscribe to me, uh, thank you for one, and uh, I'm sure you guys already know that I've been uh, promoting my eBay store. Uh, if you guys have any questions about uh, anything, please just give me an email. I hope you like. I hope you like this. It was a fun little thing to do. It took me just a couple hours to put together. Really easy design. Yeah. So. Thanks again for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Hope you have a great day.